Hey guys, it's Luch. You know, I don't know if it's just been with all the hosier activity lately around here, but the Nina cried power. But I, I wanted to talk to you guys about the documentary that came out 2015, I think, called um, What Happened Miss Simone about Nina Simone. She was, you know, a child piano prodigy and wanted to be a classical pianist. And that was her aim. But she was so well versed in pop music and jazz and everything that she sort of crossed every single border. But of course it was in the tumultuous 60s. And she uh, starts in the documentary, they start at the uh, Jazz Fest, which is happening in uh, Switzerland in 1976. And she has such a command of this, she scares the sh out of me, honestly, because she has a command of the stage, command of her musicians, the audience, she calls people out for sitting, talking, anything. But um, she started to feel like, uh, you know, what am I doing? Because the civil rights movement started, she was right in the epicenter of all of it. And um, some of the music she performed, some of the songs she performed, her relationship with Dr. King, um, it was so profound. And then she felt so disillusioned after uh, 1968, after, you know, Martin Luther King's death and Malcolm X. And, Nixon and she just said I'm, I'm moving to Africa so she went and she moved to Liberia and basically tried to live an anonymous life but with the depth and the power and the just majesty of how she performed and the song she sang she still refers to herself as being in show business. And I don't know why that was such an odd thing to me that she just kept saying, well, when you're in show business, and it's like, show business, you're not in show business. But at any rate, it's a sad life. There's ups and downs and uh, an amazing body of work for you to go back and explore. But the documentary, it's on Netflix right now. I think it started on HBO originally, but it's uh, directed by Liz Garbus and it's called What Happened, Miss Simone.